and welcome to the University of Connecticut Stores campus. My name is Chelsea Bristol and I'm going to give you a tour of the Homer Babbage Library to show you everything that it has to offer. The Homer Babbage Library is the academic anchor for the university, housing over 2.5 million books, 9,000 periodicals, over 25,000 electronic journals, 180,000 maps, and over 200 pieces of art. The library employs 104 staff members and 656 student employees. The plaza level is home of the iDesk where patrons can ask questions as well as check out books and gadgets such as iPads, laptops, Kindles, and cameras. Behind the iDesk is the Oriyama Reading Room, which was named after the donor and women's basketball coach Gina Oriyama. It is one of the nicest looking rooms in the library and a popular study spot. Also on plaza level is a 24-hour quiet study room generously donated by the class of 2000. When students get hungry, they can go to Bookworm's Cafe. In the cafe, there are various iMac computers for students to surf the web. Level B is quickly becoming a popular study space with new power outlets and desks for students to plug in. Level B is home of the Leisure Reading Room which is stocked with the latest and best-selling fiction and nonfiction. Level B is also home to the Norman Stevens Gallery. The exhibits program, which also includes gallery spaces in the Plaza Level Gallery and Dodd Research Center, is a popular location for the university and outside community. It is one of the few public art locations on the university's campus and completely funded by the generosity of our donors. Level 1 is now known as the Homer Commons. Designed for collaborative learning, it is full of life and active studying. The Homer Common spaces include the two information cafes chocked full with computers that allow access to the electronic resources through the university's virtual lab and also as a place for students to print and check their email. The Commons also includes various tutoring locations such as the Writing Center, Language and Culture Center, Q Center for help in subjects like math and physics, and the Digital Learning Center. Level 1 also has several mediascapes with large screens that share work between students, as well as private eye studios for group collaboration. There are also many comfy study areas throughout Level 1, including couches and chairs. Level 2 is home to four classrooms, Electronic Classroom 2, a generous donation from the class of 1952, Video Theaters 1 and 2, and the Library Lecture Center for classroom and meeting usage. There is the Art and Design Library on Level 2 which houses collections which focus upon the visual arts. This includes materials in areas such as applied and decorative arts, architecture, art history, and graphic design. Level 3 is home to the Graduate Study Commons, a place for graduate students to study, work on group projects, or simply unwind in their own space. Level 3 is also a great study floor for students to be able to focus without a lot of distraction. Level 4 is home of the Connecticut State Data Center and the Map and Geographic Information Center. The Connecticut State Data Center is the state's lead agency in collection and dissemination of the U.S. Census Bureau statistics, offering assistance with locating data, data projects, map creation, and more. The Map and Geographic Information Center provides access to digital and physical print maps, aerial photographs, and digital geospatial data pertaining to the state of Connecticut, New England, and the world. Level 4 is also a quiet study floor where students can study in complete silence and get work done. In the Thomas J. Dodd Center, you will find archive and manuscript collections encompassing a wide variety of subjects as well as the university's archives. The collection is popular with students and researchers here at UConn and around the world. Thank you for going on this tour with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that the library has to offer and a special thanks to our donors who make this possible.